Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video today, guys. And we got Madden 20 again. A game came out yesterday on EA Access, obviously. Still using these trials. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pick the best team captain. Obviously, it's my opinion, so don't take it as, you know, like, just the term for it. Like, don't take it religiously. Like, don't think that it's that serious. But this is my personal opinion on it, so take it for what that is. Hear me out. Hear my side. Then make your own educated opinion on what you want to take. Guys, if you haven't seen it already, I should have just dropped... My first $100 bundle pack opening. We pulled 20 elites. Go check it out. It was crazy. And then, guys, I got two more bundle pack openings that I already have recorded. And those are even crazier. Those weren't just elites. Those were, those were high-level elites. So, you're going to definitely want to check those out. So, go drop. I won't be dropping those bundles. So, I get 250 likes in this last video. So, go check out the bundle. Drop a like. Also, guys, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Try to get momentum for Madden 20. Been, been telling you guys that. So, you guys already know. And for this video, let's hit a like goal of about 50 likes. 50 likes in this video. Keeps me going, guys. Keeps me going. Trying to upload three to five times a day. They say a week's gonna be a little crazy because the trial, but after once I have the game full, I could be doing a lot more. So guys, let's get into this. All right. So first things first, go over to our packs. Get over to our team captain status pack. I have not opened this yet, but I do have an idea of what I plan to take. So first card we got. I like that animation. Herman Moore. They started in eighty. That's pretty good. Then we got Dallas Clark. I believe this should be Shazier. And then we got I forget the last guy. Ty Law. Okay, so let's look at their stats. No, 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 no. So guys, first things first, we got Herman Moore. He has an 80 speed, 83 jump, 77 catch, 77 catch in traffic, 79 spec catch, 77 short route running, 76 medium route running, and 78 deep route running. Now, Herman Moore might be last on this list for a few reasons. First off, I've never been a big Herman Moore fan, just in general. He is going to be really tall, he's going to be decent fast, and he's going to be an insane catcher and jumper. But there's one issue with him that I do not like, and it's that he's a wide receiver. Now, what I mean by that is that this year there's a plethora of wide receivers. You know, we got Torrey Holt to start, and then there's plenty of base elite wide receivers to have. Like, I already have like seven of them, so trust me, I don't really want to get another wide receiver. But the main reason is we have Torrey Holt. So if you get Torrey Holt and Herman Moore, you locked up your wide receiver position pretty much your one and two for the majority of the year. And if you don't want to use them anymore, you have to bench them, and then that's kind of a waste. So for that reason, I won't be taking Herman Moore. It's going to be fourth on my list, but let me, look, let, me, let, me, let me look through the stats a little bit, right? So let's see what his, his carrying is decent for a wide receiver. His run block's pretty ass. It's kind of, he's decently, uh, I mean, if he's upgraded enough, his spin might at least hit 80 and his juke might hit 80. But I don't really see much more potential beyond that. In my opinion, for my team, I don't see much more. No, oh, excuse me. Now for third on my list, going to be Dallas Clark. Dallas Clark for multiple reasons. I mean, I've never really been a fan of him either. That's not, that's not my reasoning. It's just why I don't want him. He's always like, and this game. He's really slow. Obviously, he can be upgraded. He's going to be, he's not going to be the slowest guy when you upgrade him all the way, only because, and he's going to have really good route running because he was a wide receiver. He's, he's played both, wide receiver and tight end. So his catching will be good. His route running will be good. He's not going to be a good run blocker. And I always like tight ends like a run block because the way I run my schemes, I like putting tight ends at tight ends, tight ends in at wide receiver and having them do like a more blocking scheme for my heavy running plays. So for that reason, I'm running. I'm kind of out. But he is six foot three. He's a good tight end. But again, tight end's a position I don't really like locking up either. I like the Kelseys, the Olsons, the um, the first Dwayne Allen. You know, there's so many cards. Did I say Dwayne Allen? I mean um, that guy in the Titans. You know what I mean? Ignore it. But the point is, is that there's so many tight ends I always want to try. So I don't really feel like locking it up this year. So it comes down to these two. And in my opinion. It's going to be close. I'm going to compare them real quick, look at them a little bit, and then I'll let you know my final guess, my final opinion. So 81 speed, 80 excel, 81 agile, 78 jumping, 78 play rack, 76 man coverage, 76 zone coverage, and 73 press. So he's going to be a good corner. He's a little on the short side, but he's going to be amazing. He's going to be a really good corner. He's going to be fast. He's going to be able to jump. He's going to be able to play defense. He's going to be really good in zone. He's going to be a good press corner. He's going to be everything. He's going to be like, he's, he can pretty much do it all. That's what Ty Law is. Now, my issue with Ty Law, he's a little small, not not too small because he's a cornerback, but there's just, I feel like there might just be a better option right here with Ryan Shazier. Let me look, let me look, let me, let me look first. You got 80 speed, got 80 excel, 69 strength, 76 tackling, 77 player rack, 64 block shedding, 70 hit power, and a 72 zone. So what these stats tell me right here, 
from what I heard, is that he can get up to a 90 off rip, right? So his speed will get to an 86, I believe. 86 to 88. So his, he's going to be faster than almost every card in the game. He's going to be able to keep up with almost Tyreek Hill. So just for that alone, he's going to be an overpowered linebacker. He's going to be able to stuff, the, and I'm pretty sure he can run stuff too. His tackling is 76. So when he's upgraded, he'll have like an 83 tackling. He's going to have a pr almost 80 strength. He's going to have good excel, good speed. His zone's at 72 already. That's going to be an 80. So he's going to be a zone coverage linebacker. That's fast. That's tall. Good play recognition. He's, he's like a he's like kind of like a linebacker slash cornerback at linebacker. And he's fast as hell. He also has the speed of a wide receiver. So it's going to be close. Let's see what his catching is looking like. It's 54, so that's also going to get up pretty. It's going to get up there too. It's starting off. These, these numbers, you have to remember, yeah, they upgrade a lot really quickly. So based on what I'm seeing... I mean, Ty Law is the more depth position that you could use for much longer. But it's looking like Shazier is going to be the overpowered linebacker like he was last year. And it's going to probably be the most likely best choice. So let me rank them. So I got Herman Moore at fourth, Dallas Clark at third. Shazier and Law are kind of tied right now for first. I need I need a tiebreaker with them right now. I need a tiebreaker with them right now. And it's looking like... Cornerback has three positions, three depth, right? And Shazier has two, realistically. Now, I do love having a good user linebacker, and linebackers will be expensive. I'm going to give it to Shazier. Ty Law is going to be ranked number two, and Shazier is one. So it's going to be one Shazier, two Ty Law, three Dallas Clark, four Herman Moore. Ryan Shazier is a stud. I got to take him. Obviously, if it was anything like last year, they will be able to, you will be able to change them soon when time comes. Like last year, they added a set like a month in that you're able to change them. Right now, there's not. So, if you're not sure, I'd wait a little bit. All right, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys what you can upgrade on him and how this looks. I have not actually done this yet, so this is new to me. Superstar X Factor, you obviously can't do that yet because you have to do, um, let's get him a higher overall. But, you are seeing the layout. You got abilities, you got the chemistries, and the Superstar Factor. So, it's 175 for 81. Let's see what he's going to look like. at a. So, I could probably afford that, right? So let's see what he's going to look like. 84 speed, 85 tackle, 86 jump. His jump is going to be really good for a linebacker. 86 play rec, 87 pursuit, 81 zone already, and a 78 hit power. That's only as an 88 overall. Get him to a 90 with X factor and everything. At the 90, you have an 86 speed, 86 excel, 87 tackle, 88 jumping. And then if you can, you can chem this guy up, 89 pursuit, 88 play rec, 83 zone, 89 stamina, and 80 hit power. This guy's looking crazy. Now, my one hope for this guy is that usering linebackers is still as OP as it has been in years past. People are saying that it's not nearly as good. So that's one knock on it. But again, if usering linebackers isn't as good, you can always just leave Shazier in the zone. He'll lock it up by himself. This guy, it's 83 zone. He's kind of like a baby corner. He has a better zone than some of the corners right now. And that only costs, let's see, 2,300, 1,000. It costs about three, a little over 3,000 altogether, which really isn't that bad. I mean, at this point, the game is kind of a lot. But in general, that's not bad for a 90 overall middle linebacker. Going to be the best player in the game off the rip. If you can upgrade him all the way. Plus an X factor. I'm really looking forward to this Shazier. All right, guys. Oh. Can't let you guys see too much of what I got. Before you watch the pack opening. Now, guys, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Let's get this video to 50 likes. Fuck. Make sure to drop a like, guys. Let's get this video to 50 likes. If you haven't already, go down below, like the video, smash it. Let's get it up there. It helps me out a lot. Also, guys, if you haven't, drop a sub. I'm trying to get to 3K subs and then so on and so forth. We have a lot of goals for Madden 20. Hopefully, we can hit them. I'm trying to get the momentum of my channel going. And, guys, if you haven't already, the bundle pack opening should have just dropped right about now. And then my second bundle should be dropping once you guys hit the like goal of 250 on that. Or if I just feel like dropping it, which will be tomorrow. And then I have a third one that should come the following day. So right as of now, you should be seeing the other bundle. Go watch that after this video if you haven't already. But guys, thank you for all the support. I'm appreciating everyone coming back slowly but surely. Hopefully we can get all 2,000 of you guys slowly coming back as we inch closer to the official release date of Madden 20. But that's it. Make sure to check out the bundles. I still have points in my account, so I'll probably be doing even more bundles once you guys hit like goals. I have a lot of the opportunity to do a lot of packs. I know you guys like seeing packs. I like opening packs. The team's looking pretty good. I got some pretty crazy pulls. The first, one was, the first one was a lot of elites. The second one was crazy pulls. And the third one was crazy pulls. So go check those out. You're not going to want to miss those. I'm out, guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.